Hey again, so in this video we're going to be starting to pull down information from our database and display it on our web page. Now uh, what we're going to begin with uh, is the navbar and we're going to be getting the categories of clothing from the database table called category which you can see here. So we're going to be pulling down these five records and we're going to be displaying them in our navbar across here. We will then turn them into links, uh, dynamic links at that, that all go to the same page but they will send, or when you click on them they will actually send the ID number of the category that you click on and that receiving page will then grab that category ID and use it to uh, dynamically choose the uh, stock items to display on the page. So we, uh, from last time we know that this web page is successfully communicating with the database. So um, I'm going to go ahead here in Notepad and just open up the header file that contains our navigation bar. So there it is there. Uh, and you can see I've put a little section for the links go here. So what I need to do is I need to run some PHP code that is going to set up a query, run the query, and then display all those items. So I'm just going to remove, oh, what should we do? Actually, just before there. Right there, I'm just going, and it doesn't really matter where you do this, to be honest, but I'm going to open up some PHP here. And I'm going to set up the the query first of all. So my first step would be to say, um, now this is going to be my category list, so I'm just going to call it cat and then underscore SQL. Now, um, in terms of naming conventions, this is something that I just personally do. You certainly don't have to follow it, but I uh, would typically use the same prefix for my variables if they're all involved in the same query, and then I use different suffixes here uh, depending on the stage of the query. I use three steps. So my first step is I set up the actual SQL. So for my category list, this is the SQL itself. So this is what will be taken to the database and run. So what I want to do is I want to select everything, which is the star, from the table we call category. Right, so that's my first step. My second step is to run that query. So again, I use the same prefix, uh, but then I'm going to actually run the query. And I'm going to use uh, the inbuilt MySQLi command, MySQLi query, which has two parameters. In it. The first one is the database connection. Now, oops, I can't spell. So in this case here, DB Connect, which is a variable, that is the variable that we set up last time in our DB Connect file. And you can see there it is, dollar sign DB Connect. We're using this connection string here. So every time we run a query, we're going to be calling it. And the second parameter is the query itself, and that's on the previous line. You can see that variable cat underscore SQL. Now I know that seems a bit long-winded. I know you could probably just pop that query in here. I'm doing this, uh, it's a habit, it makes it very easy to debug later on, and I'll show you examples of that in later tutorials. Uh, and the final step is that I need to organize those results. They're going to come back and it's going to be kind of a, a, an unorganized array. I need to ar arrange it into what we call an associative array, which means that I can actually uh, pull out the information I want by column name. So, for example, in my database, when I want to display the names of these categories in my navbar, I want to be able to say, print the name of the category on the screen. I don't know how else I would ever refer to it, so <laughs> I definitely need to um, create this associative array. So again, it's the third step. Uh, it's a, it's uh, in the same same query, so I'll give it the same prefix. This time, the result's going to go into what I call a record set. So I put RS. Again, you don't have to follow my naming conventions. These are not set in stone. It's just my own personal habit. Uh, and the inbuilt command I'm going to use is mysqli fetch ASOC, which is an associative array. And the stuff that we're organizing is the line above. That is that cat underscore query. So there is my three-step process for setting up the query, running it, and then organizing the results. Okay. So now I have this array called cat rs that contains uh, not just the names 
of the categories because you can see we did the star here, we're selecting everything. That also contains the ID numbers as well, which will be very useful when we set them up as links. Right, so now I'm going to come down and display them so you can see where I've got links go here. I'm going to need to create a loop because I need to loop through this array that contains the, um, the categories and display them one at a time. So once again, I'm going to use PHP for that. Um, here's my loop, also my PHP. And my loop is going to be a do while. So I'm going to set up a do the following things. So do everything inside these curly braces while something is true. And the thing that is true is the code up there on line 9. So in other words, while there is something for us to organize into this associative array, continue to display it. So like so. So you can see that's actually pretty much a copy of line 9. Now the things we're going to do is I'm going to echo uh, from that array the cat RS array. And because it's an array when you're displaying stuff you need to call it out uh, inside the square brackets there. Um, and I'm going to be calling out the name. I'm pretty sure that's the name. Let's just go back to the table. Yeah, so you can see the column heading there is name. So that is the bit of information we're displaying. So I'll just save that and if we now go to our template page here, if we refresh this there you go, you can see we're getting all the information displayed. Formatting is pretty terrible, but it is appearing on the page, which is good. Now, um, I won't turn them to links in this tutorial, I'll do this, do that in the, the next tutorial, but I certainly do need to do some formatting up there. So, back in my code, you can see that I've got this PHP displaying the stuff here. What I'm going to do is just put a, a little bit of spacing around these, and um, because ultimately they're going to be links as well, I'm just going to do that this way here. I'm going to say, um, just going to stop the PHP to begin with um, and I'll turn them in. Oh. What do I want to do here? Actually, you know what? I won't do that there. I'm just going to close the PHP down immediately after the category is displayed and then restart it so that the PHP can keep going. And in that little space where we have nothing there, I'm just going to put a space and then one of these nice vertical lines and then another space. And what that means is every time we loop through this, it's going to display a category name, but it is going to put a nice space after it, a vertical line to split them up, and then a space after it. So if I come back into my browser now and refresh that, it's a slightly neater now there's a little bit of work to be done. Once I start formatting these as links, uh, I can use styles to um, improve the spacing and whatnot. But for the time being, that'll do. So you can sort of see there's a the content is there. We are pulling down content from our database here, and we're displaying it on our web page. I think that's all we'll do this time. So uh, next time we will turn those into links, dynamic links that will go to a new page and then um, we'll look to display all the stock items belonging to the category you click on. So we'll see you then.